Hey everybody. So this next video is you're going to be watching is me boondocking. I mean boondocking, totally boondocking. Um, no hookup, no nothing. Just having a, my self-contained RV and my van. And taking advantage of God's gifts, the sun, for power with my solar panels. You know, um, I don't have a large water tank, so I do have to conserve my water. And I may not be able to take a shower every day, which is okay because I'm camping just me and my dog. So I'm not really worry, worried about whether I stink or not to somebody else. Although I can wash myself down. Um, I know TMI, too much information is kind of sounding gross, but no, that's the way it is. You know, I am grateful for my life that I'm able to travel and my RV life. And I don't try to make it seem like it's all glamorous and cheap and um, freedom, you know, at no sacrifices to live this RV or van life. It is. There are sacrifices and it's not cheap. If you want, if you can live this life and not be high maintenance, you'll be fine. But if you want to be a snob and I got to have power, um, I got to have water, I got to be in a park, I got to have air conditioning, it ain't going to work for you unless you're paying to go to an RV park with all that stuff, or unless you want to pay to put like, you know, 8,000 watts of solar on your camper, you know, and if you can afford that, that's great. God bless you. I don't mean it in a bad way, but um, I'm not out here trying to convince you to live this nomad life because it's going to be free and easy because nothing in life is free. I don't care. <laughs> There's some expense involved or sacrifice that it's going to cost you. That being said, I'm going to share my little spot with you, but I can't tell you where it's at. And I'll tell you, and the reason why, usually I share all my camping spots with everybody, but this one is special because it's in the Keys and there aren't very many in the Keys. And I don't want somebody to ruin it for me or for anybody else who may have be using this spot like I do now and again. There's nobody else but me here right now. And, um, I have rarely ever seen anybody here parked camping. I, I think once before I did. But um, I'm not going to ruin it for myself because I've seen what people do. They leave their garbage. They leave their trash. And the islands in the Keys, that's not what it, I mean, or anywhere else, that's not what it's about. But especially here, because when you leave that kind of crap laying around, the animals are the ones who suffer. And they get entangled. They get uh, you know, hurt and injured because of the garbage that people leave behind. You know, there's dumpsters everywhere, everybody. People use the garbage, you know, pick up your poop. Don't leave your, you know, don't empty your tanks. There are a lot of places you can dump your gray tank, especially if you're using only, uh, you know, chemicals that are okay for the environment, like Dawn, dish detergent, you know, then it's not a big deal if it goes on the ground because it's not a bad chemical. It's not a bad uh, detergent to use for the environment. So before I get on a soapbox, I'm not going to do that. If, you know, if I know you really well and I know your camping habits and I may just, and I know you're, you know, I might want to share it with you, but I may not because then the people you share it with might be the people that I have to worry about or that this environment has to worry about in this little spot I'm at. And anyway, it is private property. I don't know who the owner is, but it is private property. So it may not be available next year or when you come down, but there are the two new parks that I told you back about the Pine Channel. I told you about one of them, the Pine Channel, but there's another one and it's uh, Rowell, Rowell or something like that. And it's a new park also, kind of like the Pine Channel Park that I took you to in my last video um but it's further i think it's in it was in key, Lar key largo and i passed it and i was like oh i'm gonna go back there and check it out so i i might check that one out when i go back and check into the rv park see you at fiesta key i hope you enjoy my simple video of just a day with me boondocking on a piece of land thank you please comment Please click like, please share. I don't, I'm not begging you for money. You know, I'm actually parked here so I could save money. 
I save paying to stay somewhere else for a day or two. You know, like if I stay somewhere else for 20 bucks, I could save that 20 bucks for three days, $60 I could save to use for groceries or something like that. So anyway, I really would like your views and you to share my videos. And the more you comment, even if it's just a smiley face or if it's just a wave your hand high or something um, and watch my videos, I would greatly appreciate it because it helps me earn a little bit of extra money to pay for my Starlink. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And enjoy the video. I am in this empty lot that I've eyed numerous times. And I have seen other people park here. And I'm parked here. I've been parked here for a couple hours now. Yeah. And that's where I am. And I have my solar out. But the sun is just about ready to go down over the building over here. So that's going to be my sunset tonight. Yeah. And I thought I just need to stay here one night if I can do it. As long as I don't get chased out. It's my secret place. I can't tell you where it is. If this place gets overwhelmed, it'll be the end of it for me to be able to park here. And I only need to be able to park here one day. And then I can go back to my moose for three days. One of the mooses for three days, as long as it's not crowded. And the one that usually I boondock at that I just left, I'm usually able to do it. Oh, here's the deer. Oh, what? Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning. Let us dance this side of the way. Come on, dance the side of the way. Here. There's a deer. Here it is. Check it out. Do 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 the window's closed on that car, but somebody's in there. He's trying to get fed or treats. Aw, he wants to get fed. No tricks for you. Tricks are for kids. He's got his antlers. Yeah. Oh, he's looking right at me. Why do they say don't feed the deer? Because then they get used to coming up to people and they're not afraid of people or traffic. And that's how they get killed and hit by cars. Where'd he go? Do 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 walk about do 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 Oh, there's a rooster. There he goes, going home. Going back to his house or wherever. Hmm, yeah. So I thought this was interesting. Tesla charging stations behind the grocery stores. 
kind of hidden. I've got to go to the post office tomorrow. Ah, so here's my boondocking spot. For one night, there was a rooster that keeps roosting over there. He keeps... There's one thing about keys, you're going to find chickens and roosters all over the place. And we have a shortage of eggs, and the eggs are so expensive, I don't get it. But, whatever. You know. Lithiums are at 12.8. So, they should make it tonight. Hopefully tomorrow I can get some good sun. What a mess, huh? My traveling mode. <laughs> Danny Stroller. It's like yeah, it's like a garage, even though it's a den. So time to put some stuff away and go inside. And prepare to stealth camp here tonight. Now, stealth camp, you ask? How do you stealth camp in an RV with a big van? Well, it's my version of stealth camping. One of the things in Florida that you always got to worry about is no seams. And can you see? I have my lantern going. It's not lantern. It's my dermacell. And I, yes, I have it on inside, but I have all my windows open. So... It works outside or inside, but it works outside predominantly. You're supposed to use it outside, but this isn't any different than being inside a um, a pavilion because I have all the windows open. And the screens, I do not have no CM screens on my camper because if I did, then I would have no airflow. So what I do is when the sun goes down is when the no CMs are the worst. So I burn the dermacell for a little bit and once the sun is all the way down then I don't have to worry about mosquitoes so I have the dermacell and my vocal light I showed you that I've showed you that before so my bug light will go on What you doing, Danny? Danny, it's been a lazy day. Yeah, you need... I need to brush her today before she goes to bed. And Uh-oh, here comes the police. Sheriff. <laughs> well, he pulled in the lot. I knew it was a patrol car because it had the big push bars on the front bumper. You know, in the grill, it had the big push bars. And, um... All he did was a U-turn in the parking lot and he left. And he went into the Winn-Dixie parking lot and back by Winn-Dixie. I'm glad I had all my solar panels and everything already put away. Because I don't look like I'm here for long, you know. Um, and my camper is not an eyesore. It's not a rundown beater or anything. And so I'm hoping that he's not going to come back and say anything. Uh, but if he does, I'll be prepared to leave. There's no signs at all at here. There's no signs here at all saying that you can't park. And, um, yeah. So, I got a few uh, bites around my ankle from probably ants. They don't feel like ant bites, but... I think Danny's got a few ant bites on her feet. We both need a really, really good shower. We're gonna go probably get that done tomorrow. Cause I, I mean, I have water, but I don't wanna be in the shower and then have somebody come in here and tell me we have to get out. So I'll wait till we park and then, well, I'll take a shower and then she'll, I'll give her a bath. 
Yeah, I've got a couple. I think they're no seeing bites. Darn. They leave scars. We'll see. Uh, my granddaughter called me. And my avatar and her avatar were talking to each other on FaceTime. She's so funny. We were talking for like over an hour. It's one of those mornings. I had some, someone came by and told me, nice guy come by on his bike. And then he said that, um, he told me where I could get a free shower over at the church from eight in the morning till eight at night. So after I get my solar all charged up, I may take a ride over to the church and get that free shower. I'm gonna think I'm gonna give Danny a haircut and um, and then try to give her a little bath and wash her up. So yeah, this is my camp in the Keys on one of the islands of the Keys. And there's one of my deer coming out for the day. You must have a thing for going over there by the store and get free food. Oh no, that's a different one. That was the lady, maybe. There's no, he, this one doesn't have any antlers, I don't think. Well, as soon as I come out with Danny, these vultures get so close to me and start to dive bomb, but then I gotta pick her up because I don't want them coming after her. But they're hungry, they're looking for food. And Danny is not gonna be their appetizer. This Hi one is right over my head. Look at it. Zone, right a little bugger, vulture. The danger zone. Danny, don't growl at her. She's just going to get something to eat. Danny, don't growl at her. She's just going to get something to eat. I see you, little mama. What you doing over there? What are you doing? something to eat off the trees I think what are you doing over there girl so I'm cutting Danny's hair and this little one, big one, she wandered into camp, and Danny growled at her and barked, and I look up, and here's, she is staring at us while I'm cutting Danny's hair. Sorry, so now she's going to give herself a bath. Probably going to go into the woods, look for something else to eat. I don't know if she found anything over there. Hope there's no ticks over here on her. I'm gonna go finish cutting Danny's hair. What's she doing over there, Danny? These deer will walk right up to you like they did that car. This is a female, I guess, because she doesn't have any antlers. I gotta hurry up and finish Danny's hair because I'm gonna get started getting bug butt pretty soon. Have a great day and stay tuned for our next video. video.